Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. Have you had your hearing tested? Well, today we're going to talk about some of the tests that God does to just see how we're doing. And the title is My Sheep Hear My Voice. I've lived with pretty poor vision for most of my life. And although eye surgery was extremely helpful, I still find it difficult to distinguish the fine details of somebody's face. Combine this with the way that people are changing their appearance week after week and a problem arises, especially amongst my younger friends. One week their hair might be blue and short and the next they're wearing a wig and it's long and blonde. A lip pierced one week might be free of such ornamentation the next week. And so as a result, I've had to train my ear to recognize my friends. And I've trained my eyes to recognize their body language. Those things usually never change. Paul declares that we all see through a glass darkly, and I agree. And that's 1 Corinthians 13, verse 12. My spiritual senses will become dull over time if I fall into presumption, if I routinely prefer a spiritual discipline over another, for example, atrophy sets in those neglected areas. The Bible will always be the standard upon which I weigh all other forms of revelation. For the last several years, I read through the Bible cover to cover along with thousands of other subscribers at the dailyaudiobible.com, which is free. I highly recommend anybody listening to me to do the same. However, God speaks to me in other ways beyond the Bible. He's a great coach and he likes to make sure that I am getting a well-balanced exercise routine going. For example, he speaks to me through a quiet conversation with an old woman at a bus stop or the cashier at my local supermarket. He speaks to me from the pulpit, of course, but his voice also comes to me in a still, quiet whisper in my heart. He speaks to me through the consequences of my disobedience, and he also speaks to me through the gentle confrontation of a trusted friend. You see, he trains me to recognize his voice by taking me out of my comfort zone. There are seasons where my favorite go-to ways of drawing close to God just don't appear to draw much fruit. In those who rely on God to lead me into the way that He wants to speak to me, I must train my spiritual eyes to recognize God's voice and His face by spending time alone with Him. As I attune my inner ear to hear his still small voice, I commit myself to be instantly obedient to whatever that still small voice may ask of me at any given moment of my day. The more I am quick to obey him, the more I will hear him. My ears will be accustomed to what he has to say and my spiritual eyes will begin to pick up on God's body language, if you will. Those little subtle things that somebody does, that it doesn't matter how they're disguised, you can see beyond that disguise and see that person. My shepherd walks with me, always directing, always leading, and always ready to speak. But am I always listening? Am I always acknowledging that he's walking right beside me? If I were to answer truthfully, the answer is no. However, the more I practice staying present and alert to what he would have to say to me, the more I'm going to hear him. We've done this verse before, John 10:27. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. 
as we grow in the Lord, the Lord expects us to mature in our faith as well. I'm sure you've all seen cute little clips where a dad shaves his beard off and comes home and his children kind of freak out and it takes them a while to get used to the fact that that is really their dad minus the facial hair. Well, you wouldn't expect a 15-year-old teenager to react in the same way to their dad shaving his beard off as you would expect a 18-month-old child to respond. We must learn to set aside how we think God looks, how we think God does things, and how we think he ought to be speaking to us. Outside of the Word of God, outside of the Bible, God will come to us and speak to us in unique ways, but all of those unique ways do not contradict the Word of God. We need to stay away from any New Age stuff or any uh, occultic stuff, thinking that we're going to hear the voice of God, for example. But we also need to be on the lookout. If we haven't been hearing from God for a while, perhaps he's changing the way he's speaking to us because he wants us not to be dependent on a methodology. He wants us to be dependent on his heart. So get to know him. Look for his eyes.